Welcome back to the sound for more channel and welcome back to another tutorial on Luby Pro. Today we are going to focus on, again on actions and particularly how to adjust clip playhead. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to uh, support what I do, please do check the instruction contained in each video description. Thank you again. Okay, so we are inside uh, Loopy Pro and we are going to create a new project like so and we discard the changes. Next, let's click on edit and let's create some space with the lit rows and columns as well. And I'm going to do this every time so you know where I'm starting from. Okay, we click here on the uh, left arrow to create some space and we're going to start with uh, adding a button. Click on it and hold. Click and expand using the handles. Next, what we're going to do is click on the uh, button, select press as an action, and we're going to scroll down until we see adjust clip playhead. So let's click on it. It's going to ask you for assigning a value as a, an action, but you can change it to toggle, nudge a value, save a value, or restore a value. We'll start with assign a value. Next, a target. So we're going to specific clips, there is only one, and we select it. Back, and we are going to now select a value, for example, somewhere here in the middle. Okay, what we're going to do next is remove the edit mode. We are going to swipe up, like so. We're going to click here to import a clip from the document picker, and we're going to go inside the audio share here and select a song which I previously recorded. Import. And there we are. Now let's click play and select the clip. So now you know what it sounds like, but let's see what happens when we actually press the button here, okay? As you can see, it is moving the playhead position here every time I press. Which is absolutely great. Let's go back to edit mode and click on the button. Let's click again on the uh, created action. Now let's add some uh, uh, ramp, like around half, 155 milliseconds, that would do. Exit edit mode and try again. So as you can see now we have a ramp, so every time I press on the button it moves to the design position based on the value that we added to the action, but it moves slowly um, based on uh, the setting which we have set here on the action. So it takes 555 milliseconds or half a second to get there. Okay, and that depends of course where you are on the playhead and it gives you that really nice effect. Now let me show you a different use case. So let's click again and let's remove that action, swipe to the left and press delete. We are going to use press release, press on press release. Now, we could search for playhead, but I know it is just there, I just clip playhead. And this time we have only toggle value because we have press and release. That means it will send an action when you press and also another one when you release. Target, we need to select a target, we have only one clip. So we select, select that one. Next, we have two values now. A first value, when you press on the button, and a second value, when you let go. So I set those value like so. I'm not going to insert the value or um, add a ramp. Now, exit play mode and press again to play. And let's see what happens when I press and let go. You can see when I'm pressing the button because you have a light gray on the button, and when it returns to black, it means I released it. So you can see when I press, it position the playhead here. When they release, it position the playhead there. Okay, let me show you a different use case. Back to edit mode, click and hold on the button and select delete. Now let's click on the slider, a vertical one. Click on it again. Now what we're going to do, we're going to select the value change. Now we select the just clip playhead, target 
and we select again the only play clip that we have. Perfect, now we need to test to set the minimum value and also maximum value. And I'm going to move them around a little bit like so. Okay, but you can also set a maximum, um, so an input start and also an input end as well, but we'll leave them as default. Remove, press play. You can see when I go down to zero, it's the playhead is more or less there, and that is based on the setting that I have set here. Okay, so if I set these there and this one in the middle, like so, let's try again. So you can clearly see it is somewhere there, and again, it really depends on what you set here, right? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial and demonstration, and as always, see you next time. Bye.